thank you all for testifying today. It's obvious from our hearings by uh, from reporting by journalists in our communities from the firsthand testimony of renters earlier this week and today that private investors and landlords exploit our housing shortage and the lack of renter protections to exact greater and greater profits for themselves. They often do it while hiding behind opaque LLCs and ownership structures. They add fee after fee. As our Georgia representative pointed out, they ignore maintenance, they exploit loopholes and tenant protections, they drive out longtime tenants, they think they can make a bigger buck from somewhere else. I was particularly taken by our witness from Bedford Stuyvesant where she had owned a dog all this time and then they can write into the new contract with a new purchaser uh, penalties for that. Uh, we heard the same tired arguments we always hear from corporate defenders, let the market sort it out. If, you listen, if people actually listen to the words of renters from this week from Minnesota and Nevada and Montana, you would know the market is not, in fact, sorting it out. We also heard a lot about inflation today. If, we, if we're serious about bringing down inflation, not just using it as a political talking point, we must bring down housing costs. It's the biggest item in most families' budgets. Prices have been going up for years. We have a plan to reduce housing costs for more families by increasing the supply of safe, decent housing. It would also help state and local governments remove barriers in places like South Euclid and Cleveland to increasing the supply of housing, something we've heard bipartisan support from witnesses over several hearings. And if my colleagues really want to bring down high housing prices, I hope they'll join us to get our, the, the, that legislation passed. I look forward to working with colleagues to help increase access to safe, affordable housing through these policies. Um, I thank the witnesses again Senators who wish to submit questions for the record, those questions are due one week from today, uh, Thursday, February 17th, to the witnesses. Uh, you then have 45 days to respond to any questions. Thank you again for that. With that, the hearing is adjourned. Thank you.